galerinha, quem fala aqui é o Cotor, eu aqui no YouTube, um vídeo pra vocês, tudo belezinha? Vamos aí, a deriva de Marte, ou entregue-nos Marte. さて、ようやく新しいのが用意できた。今度こそちゃんと面倒を見るって約束してもらうよ。分かった。壊しちゃダメだぞ。約束する。ムーンベアにムーンベアだ。待っててキャッシーペースを考えろクレア学業も仕事も頑張りすぎだちょっと夢中になっただけそれに中身が面白いのまったくパパにだなね約束だぞはーい<笑> E começamos o jogo. Esse jogo é um jogo de ficção científica, tá? E eu já tinha trago um jogo. Basicamente uma cópia desse aqui, né? O antecessor é esse aqui, realmente. E era a gente fugindo do planeta Terra. Saindo fora do planeta Terra, né? indo até uma estação espacial e essa estação espacial foi claramente parou as suas comunicações o joystick hein então esse aqui esse aqui lembrou muito o Destiny é, então basicamente é isso galerinha para quem não viu o primeiro vídeo eu vou deixar na descrição <risos> Referência e tal, é foda, né? Eu deixei lá na descrição, vou deixar na descrição aí pra vocês, pra quem quiserem ver o jogo. O primeiro jogo desse aqui, tá? Então, basicamente, isso aqui seria uma continuação, tá? Lembrando aí quem quiser ler para o vídeo, tá? Falei com calma. O que acontece? Esse jogo vai ser focado na trama, tá? Na história. Ele só lá ler, bacana. Agradeço aí a Epic Games ter nos dado esse game aí. Estava bem ansioso para testar esse jogo. Bem bonito, hein? Hum. 
mi și cu zoț? Nu. Dar nu, am dat hap de prin poate. Bun, am dat hap. Dar deci o fie eu posso mudar aqui? A de uma aqui. Tô aqui. Friando, vou dormir. Mexi aqui só na... Coisa não, mas tá valendo. Aqui a, a, o áudio, tá? Eu deixei em inglês. Lizzie, Mummies and daddies are allowed to do this, I'm afraid. Breaking news as we go live to the southern border of Colorado in the United States, where fighting has erupted between refugees and border troops. President Van Zandt has denounced the violence, stating that. Weren't you going to go snorkeling with Claire? Okay, let's go, Kathy. Spectacular dive, honey. <laughs> Thanks. Such an athlete. <laughs> oh, I think I pulled something. You're taking Moon Bear snorkeling? Yes. Claire, please look after her. There's still a lot of debris floating around. I know, Dad. Don't worry. Come on. Wait, darling. You're not taking Moon Bear. Okay, okay, bye, Dad. Love you. Better get in the water quick before Dad catches you. Come on. Tem alguma coisa, né? Às vezes tem. Temos alguma. Alguma coisa que dê. Conquista, né? Troublemaker. <laughs> no. I swear, you get this cheekiness from your mother, not from me. No. Mas esse jogo, ele pelo que eu, pelo que eu vi, a gente vai no espaço. A gente vai no espaço. A gente vai. Se for igual o primeiro jogo, vai ser bem interessante, tá? Vai ser muito interessante. Waiting for a cordial invitation. Jump in. Hello. Hello. Whatever happens, 
Tá em 2060. Where's Ming Bear? We don't have time for that now, darling. I want Ming Bear. I, I think it's somewhere in this room. Uh, be quick. Agora parece que vai começar o jogo, hein? There's a button on the other side of the room. When it turns on, I need you to press it, ok? Ok. Now, Mumba. Será que ela tava sonhando? Eu acho que ela tava sonhando, hein? Interessante, hein? Tá interessante, galerinha. So they were all planning to abandon Earth? Let's tell the team we've got the Lunar Council AC in our hands. We need to see more of these holograms. Ace! Ace! It's me! Hi! Follow me! N. Initiate transfer protocol. Lunar Council override. Isaac Johansson. Code 170544. Dad, Ace isn't like this. It's okay. He, he doesn't know we're taking him back to see Rosa. Isaac Johansson. I got to hurry. They're probably looking for us now. Dad, my legs hurt. Come, I'll, I'll carry you. Eu que estou controlando, tá, galerinha? Where are we going? We're going to Albert Rupert. Olha o seu sim. <risos> Sempre tem que ser um sim, né? Lembrando que eu estou jogando esse jogo pela primeira vez. Eu estou descobrindo junto com vocês aqui, tá?
Levanta, menino. Belo começo, hein? Belo começo. Kayla, reckon we'll get a few more months out of this relic. <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> if your butt is starting to hurt from the car seat, you're welcome to come up here and help me. Anyway. You're right. 
You wouldn't. That's an MPD system for nerds. Okay. Okay, bro. Just be honest. You're feeling too threatened by me and my super brain. That super brain of yours still needs to be chaperoned to every MPD dish by a senior staff member like me. Remember? Wait, did you finally admit that you're old? Whatever. Anyway, I'm nearly done. Just have to cut out some plating that's obstructing the beam's waveguide. Can you let Moonhub know that dish is ready to receive? Already did. Don't forget to hook the stream points back up to the receivers. Mm-hmm. Got it. Não é pra lá não, mas é corre feio, hein? Não corre bonito, não. Let's get the stream points hooked up and then we're done. Fazer o quê? Vem, robô. Você corre muito feio. <risos> Let me hook up these stream points and I'll be right there. Não, mas isso aqui. Olha, realmente parece ser muito o primeiro. Sei, meu filho. Cope before stream tech. Must have been a mess of cables snaking around entire living rooms. I remember it well. Good times. Okay, just gotta find the receiver point to connect it to. Não parece ser um puzzle, não, mas.
Terra. coisa aqui em cima aqui tá o certo mesmo é jogar esse raio aqui aqui mostra se tem alguma coisa Posso ser o robô também. Tô livre, tô livre. Nossa, até pouco lá, até pouco lá. This is the third site I've had to hook up to a stream point. These dishes shouldn't be running on emergency power. Yeah, along with everything else in this place. These smaller cascade antennae can't withstand another thermal shock. Not with the prolonged power traffic that's passing through them. You realize no one understands what you're saying, right? Come on, even you know what a cyclotron wave rectifier is. Okay, now you're just making up words. I 
still doing drinks after this. Claire almost choked me to death last week for mm. giving me beer. Listen. Listen, your sister might not be big, but when it's something that consumes you, a woman can kill a lion with her bare hands. So that's a yes on the drinks. Hello? Hold on. I got a message that I've been asked to go to Maria right away. Apparently for some classified emergency meeting. Maria? That's oh, really serious. Can I tag along? No. You only have to smuggle me past security, and then once I'm in, I'll just... No. meeting at Maria's. Is it? It is. Just let the grown-ups handle this secret meeting first. Okay. That was uncalled for. Just wanted to make sure you're not still going to try anything dumb to get in. I won't. Don't even think about it. Uh-huh. All right. Let's go find another way into Maria's office. That's called lying. Ayla, let's go. Hmm. Ela ficou bem, bem retrasada, né? Mas dá pra ajudar, né? Fun to have a look around too. Not been here in ages. Looks like no one has. In 2041, the Lunar MPT dish helped diminish the planet's energy crisis by massively increasing energy yields. After the Great Blackout of 2054 and the instigation of Mission Fortuna, Rolf Robertson made his way to the moon base to restart the MPT, giving his life in the process. The WSA really is trying their best to help our world with our energy needs. I'm sure we'll get to help the entire population someday. Mais uma referência, hein? technology is a revolutionary form of energy absorption and distribution. The Lunar MPT, along with the 42 Earth-based MPT receivers, helped stop the growing energy crisis of the 2030s. MPTs. My jam. I got absolutely fascinated by it when I saw my dad working on it every day. 
We really saved this planet when he designed this. After the Great Blackout catapulted the Earth back into an energy crisis, Claire Johansson, Maria Gonzalez, and Rolf Robertson undertook Mission Fortuna, a manned rocket mission to discover the blackout's cause. Robertson, under the guise of Johansson and Gonzalez, refueled and reconnected the MPT dish. Claire really had such a big hand in reviving the WSA. Get penalties, huh? So, Dad, I'm fine. Just remembering it always feels. I'm fine. Devised by the Lunar Council members sometime before the Great Blackout. Project Outward saw the evacuation of nearly all Moonbase residents on board three large spacefaring vessels known as ARCs. The location of the traitorous council members, as well as the rest of the Moonbase crew, remains unknown. My dad designed and built most of the ARCs that they used. Like almost everything else here at the WSA. It was supposed to be an escape plan for the colony if something ever went wrong. Ayla, give that door a try and see if we get lucky. Well, worth a try. Oh, hi, Mark. Yes. <laughs> they really need to change these. I like nothing like that anymore. Are you joking? You look so good still. Thanks, I try. You? Trying anything? Yeah, right. I just, I meant that like Thanks. you... Never have to come on, Alex. Try. <sighs> Are you headed to Maria's office? No oh, way. Oh, I'm just going the same way. So. Hey, I was just looking at a few of the Mission Fortuna exhibits on my way over here. That's good. How long were you actually stationed on the moon? I was on the space station, mostly. Ah, oh, right. Yeah, that's why I never saw you on the surface, I guess. I saw you. Oh, really? When I did software upgrades for Rose's ASE. Oh, yeah, ACE. No, ASE. Yeah, 
Yeah, no, I, I mean, <laughs> I named it ACE because I didn't get that ASE was an acronym. So I just kept calling it ACE and Rosa would just start doing that too. It's kind of a confusing name, I guess. <laughs> right. Yours is named Alex, right? Where are you headed to? Wait, wait, you didn't answer my question yet. Uh, question? About how long you were stationed on the moon. You want the years with the forced cry asleep or without? Sorry, I didn't mean to. I really just need to get to the meeting. I just wanted to apologize for what happened with my dad. I, I know he didn't mean what he did. I think that's why he tried to save you on the moon. Save me? Your dad did not... Kathy, I don't want to be disrespectful, but what your dad and the Lunar Council did, they, they left us here to rot. They committed the worst crimes imaginable against humankind and our planet. They deserve to be punished for what they've done. Am I interrupting something? No. No. Thanks to an entire backlog of precedents, I know not to be surprised to see you here. If I made it this far, you might as well just let no. me... No. Maria's gonna be on video, you no. know? No! Okay, I thought you guys rehearsed that. We totally did. Why not work? I like being a rebel. Let's go. Six years. What? On the moon. It was six years. I'm sorry I didn't answer your question earlier. Right. Thanks. Se a gente controla esse robô, a gente vai utilizar ele, né? Claramente a gente tem que subir ali, né? Mas tem mais uma outra coisa aqui.
entrar na reunião. Tá. Não mais só essas roupas só para lá para cima. Pelo menos cortar isso aqui, né? Mas eu não faz, né? Tem lanterna. Podia fazer isso, né? Vou pular aqui e correr por aqui. Just find Mission Opera then. Yes. Mission Opera? Since we pulled Sarah and Kathy from the moon, we've been formulating a contingency plan. Should we discover our location? During Mission Vestia, we found indications that the three art vessels Albert used to leave the moon weren't just for transportation. Our information leads us to believe these three arcs actually form a triangle, a completely self reliant settlement. But why reach out? Why now? Is it a distress signal or an invitation? 
Doesn't matter. Mission operator has only one objective. Bring the ARCs and their revolutionary technology back home. We should analyze the distress signal. Maybe we can determine the encryption used. We're working on it as we speak. I can enable terminal access in the back office. See what you make of it. Ada, quick. Find a way inside that room. Eita. Perfect, Ayla, stay right there. What you're about to hear cannot leave this room. Understood? <sighs> by including Ryan and Sarah as part of the team. Not only do they excel in their respective fields, they're vital to me personally. I trust them both in my life. That leaves one more position to be filled. Yes. Hey. Hi. At the risk of sounding like an idiot, I think we should take Kathy. What? 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 She was leagues above the other graduates in our program. You mean the only class of astronauts that we've had in the past 10 years? It doesn't change the fact that she aced nearly every exercise, sometimes even doubling my scores. I know you want to keep her out of this, but she's the best MPT engineer we've got. We need her expertise. Now look, I will deny ever saying this under oath, I might add. But Kathy is the most talented individual the WSA is working for them. Apart from you two. And me, of course. Uh, we're not seriously discussing this, are we? I mean, she... She has no prior experience. She's a complete risk to the mission. Sarah's right. Kathy shouldn't be part of the team. There are too many factors I involved. Hey, hey, Maria. Hey, can I come in, please? Seriously? Please, Claire, let me be a part of the mission. Were you eavesdropping? Yeah, and I'm sorry for that, but Claire, you know I've proven myself to the WSA. Two concurrent science degrees, majored in stream tech, top marks in the astronaut training program, like Ryan said. Thanks for the kind words, by the way, mate. Sure. And you need my MPT expertise. Please, Claire, with you by my side, I know I can do this. We can do this. Plus, there's only like, what? Three other trained astronauts to choose from, so... I think you should take her on the team, Claire. What? 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 Nice. She's one of the most qualified people we have at the WSA. However, the final say is yours, of course. Okay, Kathy. Even though L Ryan's last argument was severely lacking, yeah. Ouch. I believe you'll do everything you can to guarantee the mission's success. Right, Kat? Of course. Now I would like to go over the minutia for the mission with Claire, Sarah, and Ryan. Can you let us handle this without listening in this time? Oh, well, seeing as I'm now... Kathy. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yep. Yeah. 
course. Snug in there, Ayla. You need anything? Cup of coffee, magazine. <laughs> you diva. Nervous. And that amuses you? No, no. Just seeing you, you proud. <clears throat> hey, that scar on Sarah's stomach is, is that the one Dad gave her? Yeah. Why? Just curious. Knock, knock. You ready? Let's go. Yeah? <sighs> bam, bam, bam. Agora estamos decente, hein? O jogo tá muito bem otimizado, não, tá, galera? Aí? Tá dando uns, umas osciladas. Nossa, que é de FPS aí. Então, GC, eu... we're heading to the rocket now. Copy that. Transport is ready for you. How's everyone feeling? Good. Slept like a baby. Of course you did. You didn't? Yeah. Sure. How about you two? Good. Yeah, fine. Good. Turning back. Nope. Hey, you know what I still think about? What? How come we get to live in better conditions than the people in the shanty town? How is that possible? Pure probability. Geographically and demographically, we were born in the right place at the right time. They weren't so lucky. Right. They really don't seem to want us to go. No. But considering the amount. Oh. You okay? Yeah, just a bit startled. Are they insane? They're not helping anyone by trying to hurt us. Don't they understand that we're doing this to save them? Those people will be on the MPT waiting list until the day that they die. If you saw the WSA using so many resources to send four people to space, They'd be angry too. They don't understand. When we bring the arcs back, they will. 
they won't. I mean, they might, and I hope they do, but they're promising something that might not happen, even if we do bring back the others. Hope springs eternal in the human breast. What's the way I choose to do it? Alexander Pope. The soul uneasy and confined from home dreams of a life to come. Look at you knowing your poetry. What can I say? I'm not just a pretty face. Okay. Take a look at this view. Wow. Never ceases to amaze, right? It's a shame we couldn't build her properly. What? With all these shortages of materials, it really is a miracle that this thing is here at all. You could have mentioned this in all these months of prep that we're flying economy class? No, I didn't want to worry you. Except for right before taking off. So it'll be fair to disclose it now? Sure, sure. If Claire believes we can use her for the mission, we should trust her. I believe Zephyr 3 will handle the mission just fine. Parece que o mar tomou conta do planeta, né? GC. Opera team comms check. Go. 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 Cat. Systems check. Oxygen. Das machine tragi. Oxygen is go. Flight. Flight is go. Navigation? Navigation is go. Ground launch sequencer? Ground launch sequencer is go. Fuel? Fuel is go. Liquid oxygen? Liquid oxygen is go. Power? Power is go. Launch sequence functions? Launch sequence functions are go. Propellant load check? Good to go. Brian, airtight seal and cockpit air composition check. Seal and air composition are go. Sarah, start fuel cell thermal conditioning. Conditioning is a go. Cat, strong back retract.
strongback successfully retracted. Zara, bent off lines. Lines are vented. We are go. Starting automatic ground launch sequencer. Sequencer is a go. Cat, retract orbiter access arm. Orbiter access arm is retracted. Copy. Start auxiliary power units. Power units ago. Copy. Retract gases, oxygen, ventile. Attracted. Opera team, visors down. Go. 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 Transfer complete. We're on internal power. Fuel thrusters are a go. Copy. Thrusters up. We are going for launch. Here we go. Bom galera, eu acho que isso aí, eu acho que deu pra gente tragar o jogo, o jogo é bem massa, bem da hora, mas ainda tem umas, umas vaciladas, umas quedas de frame, a história é até interessante, tá, então, bem legal, dá, 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 pra, dá pra distrair um pouco, tá, lembrando aí que eu sempre deixo na descrição todas as informações de estudo, da desenvolvedora, e pra quem quiser comprar o jogo, vou deixar a loja também aí na descrição. Não esqueça de dar um likezinho e é isso aí, galerinha. Botaram o reto aqui de sangue aqui.
ロータマーズさようなら Here we go, Opera Team. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Babe, did you prepare philosophical quotes for the entire journey, or? Only like five a day. Oh, good. Wanna see something cool? Maybe are these game modes? You didn't like it? I mean, it's great, truly. One small step was already taken, so. Oh, wow, old school, huh? Yeah. Excited. You never look excited. Don't be cheeky. I was as frugal as possible when designing this ship. However, I did splurge on one last minute addition. A window. You're really ruining the moment. Sorry. Just look.
mine are probably settling into their pod. I'll head back to the cockpit. Be right there. Ever take you this far from the house? Nice. No.